Hi there, this is Nikita Nana. Welcome to this video. We had a little issue last week, so we needed to buy a new multimeter and got this one from Action. So let's talk about that and let's get started. So this is a very interesting little multimeter, which you should be able to buy below 5 euros, around 4 euros at action, at least in the Netherlands, as we did with this one. There is, however, a little caveat. It isn't the same as my previous, but now broken multimeter. No, this nice little, well, yellow one is a category 2 multimeter. And let's look at the back of this packaging to delineate a little bit between those. Category 1, category 2, category 4. Category 4. It is all for safety. So this one is safer than that one, although this one is broken, as was evident when I uh, measured a 12 volt car battery and it read around 20 volts. Now, to be very clear, this is a cheap multimeter in itself, or was at least when I bought it. It's a mass tech, but it is a UL listed item, right? Should be good if it is properly produced, right? Great. So, this one was broken and I got this one. But looking at the packaging, I have to note something very clearly. In the voltage alternating current range, the max rated, quote unquote, is 250 volts. Now, here in the Netherlands, that's very interesting. We nowadays have 230 volts according to Wikipedia at least, according to the norms, which delineates right between the highs and the lows in the sinus wave of 325 and minus 225 volts. That's alternating current. But with the variance that is allowed on that mains voltage, you can reach higher voltages incidentally than 250 volts, 253 volts, if I remember correctly. So, is this the mean or median voltage? And is this device rated for at least, you know, that 325 huh, peak? Or is there something else going on? So, with that caveat, I'm saying this is a very nice multimeter for your low voltage items, the 12, 24 volt, right? So, car and truck stuff, which I'll use this one for quite nicely, because it is properly, according to the box, you know, quote unquote, rated for that, or at least this picture indicates that. So. This is very nice and very interesting. The Select Plus for around 4 euros at action is a nice buy for your car stuff. But if you want a really proper proper multimeter, you'll, you'll have to go to a proper shop and buy something that is properly qualified to use on main voltage or higher up. And if you're unfamiliar with this stuff, don't use it. Go to your professional. But I did want to show you this item because it helped me out quite nicely with checking some car electronic stuff and it's good for that. So this is Nikita Net saying I hope you found this video interesting. Like or dislike this video at your pleasure of course. Subscribe to the channel and if you do subscribe to the channel don't forget to click the bell so you get notifications from this channel. So this is Nikita Net saying thanks for watching. And bye-bye.